Hi. My name is Timothy Trespass. And <clears throat> I have found myself the object of way too much attention uh, with something that they call Morgellons and stalking and the whole nine yards. Uh, recently I made a video uh, regarding some white uh, growth that appeared um, uh, on my building. And as I was walking home today, I couldn't help but notice this, uh, let's see if we can show it to you, this thing here growing on this building, brick like my building, and what I noticed was the, the, I mean, it, look for it, look for yourselves, you know, let's see if I can show you this. The light is really bad here, so. I mean, the light is beautiful. Yes, I love the light, but the angle is difficult to achieve. You can see it best from across the street, but basically, uh, it looks to me like a, no, you can see it better from across the street. It looks like, like a, a skull or something, you know? And um, what I've noticed is that this stuff it seems to come out of the, the windows, come out of the air, and grow up the side of the building uh, and spread wherever there's water. Uh, so this building probably has water that comes down from the top somehow. Uh, but, I mean, look at it. It looks like a face. To me, everything looks like a face, but... And it looks very similar, same white blooming um, this is a, an area where it gets shade and it probably gets a little bit of sunlight and the conditions are just right and whoever lives inside of that house may or may not know what's going on but um, you know I've seen this before in my own, in my own life uh, several times the first time we found that our air conditioner was full of this stuff, you know, this is when all this craziness started, with the real heavy-duty craziness. And um, this material here is some sort of fungus or mold or bacterial, you know, some something, some something that can eat brick, that can eat water, hydrogen, oxygen, uh, mortar, grout. Uh, I've seen these things eat metal, plastic, glass, flesh, any biologicals, organics, chlorine, it seemed to eat, uh, thrive in. We, we got a lot of this from, it seemed like it was in a bag of chlorine. Uh, and we put in the water, it makes this slimy kind of thing that sticks to the inside of the plastic and has a very high ionic cohesive attraction for itself and other materials it pulls them in you know and and uh literally eats the things that it touches in order to to grow i don't know if it's aerobic or anaerobic i'm trying to find that out whether it breathes air or not um, but with my limited you know technology and chemistry and whatnot I can't really do much more than look at it and go hmm I have a sample of it in a jar it's sealed up it's uh, it's whitish when it's not much in the Sun and when it gets in the Sun it seems to turn yellow and it can be, it can be thick you know like a quarter of an inch thick and you scrape it off it comes off in a fine powder of spores or whatnot that go everywhere and um, I've seen this grow in black I've seen it grow in white and yellow, and um, I don't believe this is any normal fungus or lichen or, you know, moss or whatever. It's, I, I don't know what it is, but anyway, there you have it, and you can see it's, it's all over this building, um, coming either up from the first floor, but more likely from the second floor, where it's very humid. I can tell because the windows are moist. And, uh, but it's on the whole building. That means the entire building has it. Everybody. 
you see how fast this spreads and now if this building if this building is is in fact you know what I think it is then uh, see here here's a sample right here you can see on the brick it is a fine white material uh, this one hasn't grown so thick and yeah, that one's pretty much stuck on there. Mine was blooming like uh, uh, crazy. And you could say, oh no, it's just salts and whatnot. But I'll bet you anything, if you looked at the way the water, if you look at the way the water comes down the building, I'll bet you those drains aren't so great on, this, on the roof. And you can actually see how the water comes down the building by looking at this stuff. And when there's just the right amount of water, it grows. And when there's not enough water, it stops. And you know, as you can see here, can you see it? I can't see this very well, because I can't see. Anyway, as you see, it comes down, 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 and it sort of stops there, where the brick stops. Uh, it actually goes down the side a little bit, but that's it. So it sort of stays on the brick. Uh, so something in brick, I guess. Uh, now this other building,